Welcome back to The Journeyman Guitarist. Today, we're going to have some fun and do a deep dive into the new Alex Lifeson pedal creation, Snow Dog. If you're familiar with Rush lore at all, you knew there was a Bitor. So if there was Bitor, there had to be Snow Dog. Well, we've already seen the Bitor pedal and it's amazing. But what about Snow Dog? Snow Dog is just being released right now. And here in the box, we've got a great booklet and in true Alex Lifeson fashion. There is the lore of Bitor and the Snow Dog, kind of told in Alex comedy kind of fashion on the inside of the booklet. I'll save that for you. And a sticker. The sticker uh, is uh, a symbol of his great acceptance speech to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, in which he executed it in the form of blah, blah, blah. It's a great speech. It's on YouTube. Look it up. But fantastic sticker. So that's the box and the packaging, which is... <laughs> fantastic within itself and here you can see on the pedal board right next to by tour its arch nemesis is snow dog well what is snow dog snow dog is a fuzz pedal it is also an octave pedal kind of kind of an octavia kind of vibe kind of vibe kind of that octave fuzz thing so it's two sides one size be, one side being that fuzz thing with a few parameters on there uh, and the other side being the octave side with a, with a gain and a, a level I'm not going to take a whole lot of time going over the settings. I just want you to hear it. I'm going to go straight into it right now. We're going to start with uh, what I want to do first is show you this guitar. This guitar is the Mojo Tone Lurks to Pickup Assembly, which is right out of the, the Lurks to guitars that are being released by Godin. It's the same pickup assembly. And you can buy that assembly and drop it into any strat that's, that's routed that way. I dropped my Lurks pickup assembly into a Jeff Beck Strat, and I really like it. Sounds fantastic. Now, I'm running that into a head I used to tour. Um, years ago, I had the opportunity to tour and purchase a Lurks Omega head. Now, the Lurks Omega head has been re-released. It is in a new box. Uh, it's really cool looking. Um, I have the old silver box, and it's the same gut. So it's the same amp and size. You'll get to hear that. So what I've done is I've set the Lurks head up on kind of a... Uh, uh, cleanish on the edge of breakup rock kind of tone so it's kind of clean you know really good sound and i want to start by just bringing in the octave side of snow dog so let's do that let's set up the octave side of snow dog i'm running everything through my gig rig g3 atom which just is a fabulous switching pedal that allows me tons and tons of options in tone switching which you'll, you'll see happen right in front of you all right so here we go here it is straight to the amp but going through the octave side of snow dog <laughs> Just the octave side sounds really fantastic. Uh, so many things you can do with it. So many ways you can go with that. Uh, you know, if you put it on the the neck pickup. Just sounds like a great strat. <laughs> a really good octave pedal. To a really cool amp all right so now the other side of that is going to be the fuzz tone side now i've set this up uh for a, a, a fuzz tone that already works with this amp i didn't want to go through and take a lot of time moving knobs and stuff like that i wanted to just get into the meat of the pedal so here we go let's dive in with the fuzz side of snow dog get ready <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> that's just, that's pretty ripping. So uh, to just summarize the whole fuzz side, there's a lot you can do with it. You can dial the gain up, dial the gain down. Uh, there's just so much you can do with that fuzz. But I wanted to give you the wild side of it first. All right, so now let's do what we're what we're kind of we're, what we're all kind of here for. The pedal is really meant to work together to give you that old Octavia kind of crazy octave fuzz thing of the '60s and the '70s, and it delivers in spades. Here we go. <laughs> As you can hear, <laughs> it's it's got a lot of meat on it. It's kind of vicious. It's, it sounds great. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's just fun. That's just all kinds of fun. So what I was doing there was obviously flipping back and forth between the neck pickup and the bridge pickup, and uh, it's just sounds sounds like that thing, you know. And whatever style you play, whatever amp you're using, um, that's, that's kind of one of the things I found about this. I've had other uh, octave fuzz pedals that are really cool, but you know, I, I'm kind of a Marshall sounding guy and the Lurks is, is kind of based on an old classic, you know, Marshall uh, sound. And um, so for me, a lot of the fuzz pedals uh, that I was using before and a lot of the uh, fuzz octave combos, it didn't really work with this amp as well as I wanted it to. Now, this one really does. One of the things I really like is the way the octaver tracks. The octaver tracks, uh, you're playing really well. And then if you go into, like, let's say an octave sound uh, where you're playing octaves, listen to the way it tracks that too. It tracks it really well. <laughs> So in any kind of playing that I do, I never felt like the octave side of it lost the tracking. It really kept up with it. It just, it just sounded great. Um, and you got that fuzz side of it. Now, obviously in, uh, in Rush lore, Bitor comes into play. Now, typically, Bitor is a, is a classic gain pedal with a boost side uh, as well. That really doesn't work with fuzz, but it works really well with the octave. So less of a battle between the two. And what I kind of discovered and something I want to turn you on to is the way that the octave side of Bitor, I'm sorry, the octave side of Snow Dog worked really well with its arch nemesis Bitor. Yes, Snow Dog worked really well with Bitor. I'm getting confused in my brush lore. So I'm going to bring in the gain side 
and I'm going to bring it. This is a really cool solo sound. I'm going to bring the gain side with some boost on the uh, on the bitor pedal. Bring that in. <laughs> It sounds really good, and you can hear it's really gained out because you can hear the buzzing through the amp. Now I'm going to bring in the octave side of Snow Dog and listen to just how cool it sounds. So there is a battle between Bitor and the Snow Dog. So what I was doing there was I was using the super gained out parts of uh, the Bitor pedal. Basically, the, the the actual distortion gain side boosted with the boost side run into the uh, the octave side of the Snow Dog. Now let's go back to Snow Dog. I want to give you one more look at the pedal itself on its own without Bitor jumping in. So. I'm going to start with the fuzz side and yeah, let's go old classic kind of neck pickup fuzz side. Here we go. Bring in the, the octave. The Snow Dog in full form. It's a great pedal. It's not a ton of cash. Looks fantastic on your pedal board, especially when you set it next to Bitor. Bitor and the Snow Dog together work fantastic. Lots and lots and lots of tonal combinations. So much you can do with these two pedals. Uh, I, I just I just love them, and uh, it's almost too much fun. Again, the Lurks Mojo Tone pickup assembly, the amp. It's all a great combination. I'm having so much fun with it. It's taken me a long time to put it all together through the years, but boy, oh boy, oh boy, these two pedals coming out recently has just been a lot of fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you'll take a look at these. I'm John Wesley. This is the Journeyman Guitar channel, and uh, I hope you'll stick with me. Come back and visit, like, subscribe, all the things. Send it to your friends. Take care, and I'll see you next time.